Egon it was a giant uh, on campus and in the, his field of colloid and surface science, but certainly he was enormous in the chemistry department. He was at the forefront of establishing graduate degrees in the late 1950s and early 1960s, in essence launching Clarkson as a top-tier research institution. Entwined in this was also his significant reputation in the area of colloids and surface chemistry and the fact that he and others such as Milt Kirker were able to bring to Clarkson many highly regarded engineers and scientists, thus enhancing Clarkson's reputation um, nationally and internationally. He decided, either by invitation or with his own offer, that there should be a wine tasting for the alumni during alumni weekend. So that was on campus. Uh, then, quickly, uh, it, his their home, Bozitsa and Egan, uh, quickly became known in their beautiful home with all the attributes and so on, with guests from around the North Country coming to wine tastings at their home. It was essentially an all-night affair with a plurality of people, and so that was Egon and Bojica bringing together uh, people in that way. Egon's passion was about how do you connect art and, and humanity and, and music and the good things in life, those that really expand your mind, uh, with the science and engineering that Clarkson is known for. And so tonight, Karen and I are very pleased to say that uh, Aegon and Borgeska's extensive art collection has been donated to Clarkson. We will be expanding and renovating this building, and in the expansion, that's where we're going to house uh, the, the collection. And so our students into the future uh, will be able to sit surrounded by art collected from around the world. It is important to, to Aegon, very important to him, that the collection is kept together, uh, it be displayed, and that it is create an atmosphere on our campus uh, that really inspires our students.